Hey everyone, it's Stacy from My Petite Garden. This video will be a plant vlog and we are starting off at a plant nursery that my friend and I visited recently. It's been a little while since I visited and it's always so nice to spend some time around plants. I love being inside a greenhouse and it just naturally lifts my mood. I mentioned before that I am currently having a moment with Ripsalises and there was this gorgeous huge specimen of a Ripsalis pilocarpa. You guys know how much I love mine and this one was so full and beautifully sun stressed. This is one of their propagation greenhouses where they also have some plants available for sale and it's so nice to be able to see some of the propagations that are currently in progress. And then all the way in the back there is a stunning section where there are very mature cacti and it was so amazing to see and be able to walk through. They also have this little shaded greenhouse that they call the Pottery Barn <laughs> that they house a lot of their terracotta pots and I love these particular ones. When I came home, a plant that I had ordered online had arrived so we're gonna do a little unboxing now. I ordered this from Gabriella Plants. It's been a long time since I ordered any plants from them. I remember when I first started my plant journey, I ordered from them quite a bit. I actually got some of my favorite plants from them. I've always loved the quality of their plants. So it's nice to order from them many years later um, and much further along in my plant collecting hobby. So you can see here, this is a 5 inch hanging basket of a variegated Discidia russifolia. I've been eyeing this plant for quite some time, but um, again, I just never kind of decided to buy one, I guess. Um, I don't see these locally, and online I see them here and there, but nothing that really made me say I have to have it. A friend of mine had actually given me a cutting from her plant and I actually managed to get it to root and then the mealybugs attacked it. It was just so bad that I could not save it. So I lost that cutting that I rooted. So that was pretty sad. So I'm really happy that I found this and it's actually really pretty. So here it is after I hung it up on my uh, west facing sliding doors and for now I'm just gonna leave it here I think it's hopefully gonna be happy here for the winter time and even though we don't have a lot of Sun right now I managed to have one sunny day where I could film this um, footage for you and also I wanted to mention is that the fully green version of this plant is also really beautiful and I think at some point later on, I might end up adding that to my collection as well. But I'm happy with this for now. Mm -hmm. 
And as far as repotting it, I think I'm gonna leave that alone for now, um, at least until maybe the weather gets a little bit warmer. Um, I do think that the soil it came in is pretty good, so I'm comfortable leaving it in there. Something really fun that I just want to briefly mention, with each of the plants from Gabriella Plants, they have a plant tag that has a QR code where you can scan, and it's called a story stake, where it will pop up the history of your plant, basically who planted it, when it was planted, and the potting soil. And I thought that was just really fun to see a little bit of history on the plant that they sent to you. All right, so I picked this cactus up. Um, it is a Sirius Jamaraku or something like that. I will put the name on the screen for you. It's also known as the cuddly cactus, which like its name says, it has no spines for the most part anyways. You guys know I've been on the lookout for spineless cacti to add to my collection. I only have one, which is my totem pole cactus. So when I saw this one at my local CVS actually, I was like, let me pick it up. So it's really, really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and repot it today. I just made some potting mix for it um, with what I have on hand. I really, I actually don't have any potting soil on hand right now. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm just gonna take this out. Okay, let's see. It's in a cash pole. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh. Let's see. Oh, it's really stuck in there. Maybe I could lift it up. Yep. What it looks like. I'm not sure what mix it's in but it looks pretty dense so I'm gonna take this to the garbage can and dump it out and see what the roots look like. I'll be right back. So I took it out of its pot and this is the root system and it actually looks pretty good. The soil came off fairly easily. It looked like it was just completely peat. Okay, I'm gonna go and find a pot for it and then pot them up. Okay, so I decided to put it in here. It's just a old terracotta pot that I have. I'm gonna put a mesh. You know, I have made enough soil. Probably not, actually. I'm just gonna dump that bottom there. Situate it, I think, like that high. I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah, I definitely need to make more soil. So I don't have any potting mix on hand, so what I'm using is actually just tree farm fiber mixed with perlite and some just a zeolite that I have lying around uh, for when I was using it to make like DIY pond. I wanted a mix that was a little bit more inorganic.
right. So let's go ahead and top dress it. This is the IKEA mini greenhouse that I purchased um, a few weeks ago. Actually, it, it might have been a month actually, but just wanted to show you guys. I love it. It is a great size. It's really good because a lot of the um, a lot of the kind of like the glass or the mini greenhouses aren't tall enough for a lot of plants that kind of grow to be a little bit bigger so I think this is pretty good and this isn't glass so to me I think that's a plus because I do have a little child and glass just makes me nervous wherever it is <laughs> so up here there's another clear panel um, this is very sturdy I'm not sure what material this is exactly if I find out I'll put it on the screen um, but it's very sturdy material um, and I just have this grow light here this grow light has always been on this yellow cabinet if you guys remember I had another mini greenhouse that one I moved over here so let me just show you guys that one I moved here this is actually glass the shape of it reminds me of um, those old I don't know what you call them are they called accordion cases? No, probably not. Wardian cases? No. Anyways, so this opens here like this. So this whole thing opens up and it flips open. Like that. Now, one thing I want to mention is that this uh, is not airtight. So air will get through. And um, if you want this completely sealed, I've I think you're gonna have to do some sort of um, altering yourself but I like it like this because I do tend to have mold issues if I have any type of completely sealed greenhouse so this is good because it allows for some sort of airflow so I don't need to worry too much about it but at the same time it will not keep in as, as much humidity as you know something that's airtight obviously but that's not really a problem for me because I don't really grow anything that requires a huge amount of humidity. Let me just show you guys what plants I have. So the first plant I have here is my um, piper. This is a piper... Let me see what the tag says. Actually, I think I need to water it. Piper crocatum. Such a pretty piper. The new leaves are super pink. And then I also have one of my Peperomia Kimnachiais in here. It's one of the smaller ones. I think I might actually combine this with the larger ones so I don't have too many split. I just kind of want to condense everything. I might do a video soon of me combining a lot of my duplicate plants I'm just kind of I just kind of want to reduce the amount of space I'm using for some of these plants if I could combine them I think I want to combine them and then over here I have my um, Peperomia um, Scandens Mediopicta so this is the one that I think I showed you in an earlier video with the uh, green on green variegation there you go. Hopefully you can see that. And then on the very side here is my Anthurium polystichum, or I think that's how you pronounce it. This plant is actually the reason I got this 
um, greenhouse because it I think it really does require a bit of humidity and so it was outgrowing the other glass one that I originally had it in so I decided to get this and I think this will keep it happy for a little bit I hope so that is the whole terrarium um, I think you can definitely plant directly into here I think the bottom is actually no the bottom is not airtight either yeah so I think the, um oh yeah so the bottom piece here is on its own and then you just place this top part on top of it so it's not like secure to the bottom or anything like that I never plant anything directly into these type of um, greenhouse terrariums I always put my plants that are already in pots and just situate them inside so but I think it's fine if you want to do that just figure something out <laughs> um, for me I just like to do things low maintenance that's why I don't have anything too complicated in my home um, yeah so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this little terrarium tour so for now I have these plants here but I think I'm definitely going to be like moving things around as the season goes along. And my light, <laughs> I just have it propped on top of the terracotta pot and some books so that it's tall enough to get on top of the terrarium.